hello everyone so let us start uh, with the next uh, method set of methods that is known as multi step method so till now whatever we have seen may it be euler's method or rangakutta method all the method that we have discussed were single step methods okay now the reason why they are called the single step method is is the idea behind is very simple so when you talk about single step method to find out the value of y i plus 1 what we were doing is we were only using the value of y i we were just using single value at x is equal to y to find out the value at x is equal to y plus 1 so that is why it, it was known as single step method but in multi step method what we are going to do here is we are we are going to obviously use xi in addition to this we are also going to use other points like xi minus 1 and xi minus 2 and so on so to find out to predict the value of of uh, yi plus 1 we are going to make use of multiple points not just single point multiple points that is xi xi minus 1 xi minus 2 and so on so that is why these are known as multi step method so obviously when you talk about multi step method multi step method are accurate as compared to single step methods but the problem is uh, the multi step method is is a bit complicated not very complicated but yeah a little bit as compared to single step method so the very very first step method that we are going to discuss is known as non self starting hume's method so i think if you remember when we started with odes we discussed about hume's method okay So, if you can recall, what was Hume's method? We used to use this. So we made use of this. So this is known as your normal Hume's method. Okay. If you can recall, this was known as your predictor, and this is known as your corrector. So all multi-step method are based on this scheme of predictor and corrector but when you talk about uh, this normal hume's method the problem here is this method has a truncation error of h square and this method has a local truncation error of h cube okay so the problem here is this doesn't give you an accurate solution okay you will get accurate solution you will get accurate solution if somehow you are able to make this truncation error as h k okay so that is what we do in non self starting hume's method what we do is we replace this predictor by a more accurate version of predictor okay so to do that what we do is we make use of the previous point for normal hume's method we used xi xi plus 1 so in non self starting hume's method what you are going to do is you are going to use another point that is xi minus 1 and that is going to be yi minus 1 so then your non self starting hume's method becomes yi plus 1 this is going to be yi minus 1 and then this the next thing is going to be into two times of h okay i mean this h and then this h that is two times of h so now if you see the local truncation error here will be h cube and when you talk about so this is going to be your predicted when you talk about corrector it's going to be ji minus 1 okay 
Now, if you can see here, there is this J minus one. So, so basically, when you talk about multi-step method, what is going to happen? First, there will be two types of uh, iteration. One is going to be inner iteration, okay, and one is going to be outer iteration. So, when you talk about uh, inner iteration, so let us say your TI is zero point five, and this is going to be let us say h is 0 0.5 so this is going to be 1 so what we are going to do in multi-step method is we are going to perform inner iterations so if you see this j minus 1 so this is going to be j is equal to 1 2 and okay so we are going to use predictor corrector so we'll just oscillate between these two values first We'll first calculate the predictor, then we'll calculate the character, predictor, character, such that the value drops to like some desired uh, approximate error, let us say less than 1%. Okay, so once you do that, then we'll move on to the next point. The next point is going to be 1.5. Then again, we are going to, between 1 and 5, we are going to do perform predictor character and we are going to oscillate between this till the percentage error comes out to be one million. So there are two approximate errors that we are going to calculate. First is going to be the inner iteration that is between the values using this predictor and character scheme. And the next is going to be the actual outer value that is between the points. Okay. So this is the uh, scheme or the technique of uh, behind the multi-step method. Okay. One more very important after this another another multi-step method that we are going to discuss is known as Milne's method. Again, the idea is uh, behind Milne's method is is very simple. Again, it is going to use your predictor and corrector scheme, and I can just write down the formula at this particular point. The formula is y i plus one. Y i minus three plus four h divided by three minus f i minus one plus two f i minus two. So this is your predictor. Then it's going to be your corrector. Y i minus one plus h divided by three. Five minus m. Uh, now, oh, sorry, not m. I cannot derive these formulas given the time we have for this course. Okay. I really wanted to discuss all these things in detail, but uh, I don't think we have a lot of time. And since being a summer course, it's it's very short. But if this was a normal course, I would have definitely uh, discussed this in more detail because this is a very important method. But anyways, I I hope you guys are getting the idea of uh, multi-step method somewhere so i think that's it anyways let us let us move forward so this is going to be fi plus fi plus one j minus one so again there will be in iteration okay using predictor character predictor character and then we, we are going to move to the next point and then this is going to be correct now if you can see here uh Millet's method uses how many points one two three okay so in addition to xi it uses xi minus one then again i don't have space here xi minus two and so on so and then i think xi minus three as well i think yeah xi minus three as well and also xi minus 3 as well so that is why uh, this turns out to be accurate but again when you talk about Milne's method it has some disadvantages okay so the next method is very important that is known as your fourth order Adams method okay, also known as uh, 
Adam Bashford and Adam Martin formula. So the formula is uh, simple. It says that this is y i plus h alpha minus two. So this is known as your Adam Bashford formula. And this is nothing but also what a predictor. Now some of, some of you might be thinking that uh, what is this fi minus one fi plus one? So basically, when you say even even in Milne's formula, you might be wondering what is this fi minus one fi plus one. So fi minus one is nothing but f of x minus one y minus one. That's it. So basically. You are going to substitute the value of xi minus 1 and yi minus 1 in the formula of slope. Okay, and then you are going to find out these values. Okay. And one more thing, uh, in when you talk about real life, this formula, uh, sorry, this values of fi minus 1, fi minus 2, fi minus 3 will not always be known. Okay, so what you have to do is to find out these values, you'll have to apply some other method, some other single step method like Ranga Kutta fourth order method, Euler's method. I think Ranga Kutta fourth order method is, is much better. So to find out these values, you have to apply Ranga Kutta method. And then you, have, you will have to apply your Adam's fourth order formula to solve it further. Okay. So this was your predictor. When you talk about your other character, it's going to be so this is your Adam Moulton formula. So that is why together the combination of this is known as fourth order Adams method. So this is your predictor and then this is your connector. Okay. So again, I'm reminding that this value of fi minus one, fi minus two, fi minus three will not be known. You'll have to apply some single step method that is Ranga Kutta fourth order Euler's method, and then you have to find out these values. And then you have to apply Adam's Bashford or Adam Moulton or fourth order, uh, fourth order Adam's formula. So that is why uh, you cannot solve this by hand, it, it becomes very difficult. You'll have to use your programming software to code this, and then you have to solve this. I mean, one or two steps you can do it, but when you want to do a real problem, I don't think you can solve it by hand. You have to use your software.